Welcome to another Epic 7 video. Remember when I told you in my gear guide video that purple gear can beat red gear when you speed roll farming? Well, check this piece. I basically hit the jackpot with it minus one. For those of you who don't know, a purple gear with four speed substats have the chance to roll 24 speed max after reforge. Meaning, you can roll four speed four times, so in total, you will have 20 speed before reforge. And after you do reforge it, you will have 24 speed total. As you can see, this piece rolled 23 for me, so it's basically god tier piece to use on any opener. Another thing I would like you to know is, getting high speed rolls on purple gear is actually more common than red ones, because you have less RNG to deal with. A red gear have four starting substats, meaning every roll will have one extra substat to roll on. But on purple, you only have three starting subs, so aiming for penta speed rolls on the first three rolls before unlocking the last substat is way safer and easier. So for the players who have really bad luck with speed rolls, I highly suggest start investing into purple gear with three or more starting speed subs. You can get 17 speed or more after reforge way easier on purple than red, so please keep that in mind. I personally keep any purple piece with three or more speed in it. Then I always roll once and see if it goes to speed or not. Also, you can do the same for other stats. Meaning if a purple piece have 8% attack, for example. You can try your luck for a penta high roll attack on it and keep it as well. I have many purple pieces with 30% plus subs. So trust me, investing in purple gear will help you progress your account way faster and easier. You have no idea how many penta rolls you're wasting by selling or extracting good purple pieces before even rolling once. I hope this gives you an idea on how to approach gear from now on. Thank you for watching guys, let me know in the comments what's your highest speed on purple. See you soon.